This is what happens when a blind man is taking DMT. So just tie, just tie, just tie. Just think about these things. Combine your mind with your heart. Connect those two circles. See what your gut is saying and let whatever come out. Just come on out, guys. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like since y'all like this kind of stuff. It's back out. Here we go. Further ado, a post I found on Shroomery of someone blind from birth breaking through on DMT. Definitely worth the reading. I can't believe this isn't talked about more often. This post on Shroomery. Uh, shout outs to the guy that uploaded it. I don't see his name. <laughs> oh, Mushroom50. So here we go. My buddy Cody was driven up here for Christmas by his brother yesterday. He is cogentally blind from birth. He was born with a type of disease I could not pronounce or spell. He is a frequent cannabis smoker. When I got up this morning, he had a small breakfast of fruit and then I removed it from the fridge and explained to him what it was and the process and that I had a theory. of the experience put him off from it my theory was that never having had the experience of vision he would not be able to describe what it was that happened but i would able to tell be able to tell if he did based on his reaction so i convinced him it was worth the 10 minutes it takes and convinced him he will benefit from the experience and if not hell it's only 10 minutes i helped guide him down to my pond i set up some lawn chairs as it was the upper 50s today and sunny and felt really nice. I loaded the bowl and gave it to him and held it light it and helped him light it. He took three huge grips, holding each in probably 20 seconds. Now, Cody usually holds his eyes closed. The only time I've ever seen his eyes was when I first met him. He had to actively try to open them because it's a movement he almost never does. He does not have the muscle memory for it, so it take effort for him. As soon as he let out the last hit, his eyes opened. Not just open, they shot wide open. He leaned onto his knees out of the chair. How could even, how he could even move, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. but he started sobbing. He cried for seven minutes as suspected. He could not say anything but one word about the experience. All he could say with sobbing tears is, so beautiful, so beautiful, I can't. I don't. It's just so beautiful. This was about 10 hours ago. He's still asking me if that's what he's seeing. If He's still asking me if that is what seeing is. How do I respond to that? He can't describe what he saw, but he saw, and he's been blind from birth. I don't know where I go from here, but we both feel as if we uncover something more profound than the experience itself. I just thought I will leave this here as I have no idea the implications of this, and I have no hope of ever getting an explanation of exactly what he experienced from him, as he has no means of comparison or contrast. Also, I wanted to start a discussion about this. Seize. Seems very interesting. Thank you, Mushroom50, for this awesome story, finding this and reposting this. Because, wow, man, our blind, our eyes is made to see this world, but we always see in something. There's multiple, infinite amount of realities going around, man. You got eyes not to see here, but you can see somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, it's wild that DMT does that, dimethyltryptamine. It's insane to think that his only experience seeing anything was some of the same shit you see on DMT. Now, that's his baseline for what people... Now, <laughs> that's his baseline for people um, that can see. Yeah, that's wild. Going through the comments...
Dude, you're on the sun. I had this experience with heavy usage of method nitrates. <laughs> Don't recommend this. Where it's like my brain is some perhaps AI or some inner reality simulation thing. We're learning about reality and how it works. So I keep doing it and things will get realer, more stranger, enter different dimensions, change senses around. And then I try DMT the thing. Same thing sort of happened. Dimensions would get all weird yet familiar, like being a developer of reality and remembering it. Things would get more crystal clear in HD. Storylines would begin taking place, etc. All the while, reality is more malleable and somewhat like I'm aware of the fact that it's some kind of simulation. I can increase my level of focus. I can change my senses around, make my eyes a nose or my nose, eyes, etc. Increase senses, do things with breathing patterns, kundalini, time travel, alternate realities, etc. Basically, like I've become a part of my perception of reality and sort of working with it to make Reality more real, yet magical at the same time, bridging unconscious and unconsciousness, perhaps. So I believe that this guy did a bunch of stimulants, nitrogen, LSD, and DMT. His brain and reality will begin working together to be able to sort of fix him and allow him to actually experience a more full-fledged version of reality. Yeah, I've been in that room, too, on mushrooms. I call it I call it the um Looney Tune Land, Thailand, being able to bend reality and just change things around like you're in a cartoon. <laughs> oh awesomeness, awesomeness, just Thai, just Thai. Any more awesome comments? Any more awesome comments? I have something very reality control. I'm leaning heavy to the option that reality could be a simulation, especially after studying quantum mechanics for the past year as a hobby. Shit is adding up like pieces of puzzle and it's wild. <laughs> Reminds me of this one time on LSD where I did some nitrous. This is all closed. I saw white light, then red, green, and blue light. Crawled out of this white light. These colors filled up my visual darkness and rendered the world exactly how it would be if my eyes, if I opened my eyes. I saw the roof of the festival tent we were under and a part of the sky. It was all oversaturated. And when I opened them, I didn't even feel them. And things would slowly get to normal because I was freaking out because I thought I died. The colors started getting less intense. And for some reason, my friends were really shaped hexagon compiled messes. But they turned back to normal also. After realizing what happened, I was super happy, like I learned a new skill. Or that I saw for real the first time. <laughs> All right, if you're going to go fishing for one more, guys. I want to know if what he saw is what seeing actually is for those of us born sighted. If we weren't now jaded by experience, our brain continuously adding out the less manageable visual messages. When you go that deep, you don't see with your eyes. It's like seeing with your mind. Third eye shit. Brains don't matter if you if your wig gets split on some third eye shit. All right, I got one more comment. That I saw, I know I said I was fishing, but we had a nice basket of fish, and I want to see what else is swimming in the ocean. So we got one more, one more, vi one more that I saw. Here it is. He said, um, "Demos Chronicle." He said, "Sounds like they opened his mind's eye." Here's an experiment for you. I did this once and was shocked it worked. Whenever I smoke DMT, I close my eyes. I prefer the visuals in the dark. But knowing the effects of DMT and my personal belief that's a spiritual experience, one day while smoking it in a J, I asked out loud. Give me sight. No joke. I can see my living room with my eyes closed. It wasn't perfect. More like seeing something through foggy glasses. Still, I felt like I could navigate through my house if I bothered to get off the couch. I have a buddy who did DMT once and he was covering his eyes with his hands, but he could still see the room he was in. I was going to say my buddy UL did that. He talked about that before. He had the x-ray vision through his hands. I've also read re trip reports of people seeing through walls or other physical barriers. Definitely makes you think. Just tie, just think about these things. 
<laughs> All right. So thank you guys. I redid this again because everybody was saying that they didn't like the music in the background and they couldn't hear the awesome story. And hey, now we can all just tie, just tie, just tie. If you appreciate this, drop a like, subscribe, and share this on your social media Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, all the grandiosos. So, Ty, always love you guys. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Join the Sata podcast. Bring up this article, and we can tie on this even farther. It's all up to the fam. It's all up to whatever the flow. Adios, Ty, always. <laughs>